ਨਿਆ ਮੰਤਰੀ ਡੇਵਿਡ ਲੈਮਟੀ ਤੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਸੰਸਦੀ ਸਕੱਤਰ ਗੈਰੀ ਆਨੰਦ ਸੰਗਰੀ ਨੇ ਅਪਰਾਧਿਕ ਨਿਆਂ ਪ੍ਰਣਾਲੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਾਲੇ ਕੈਨੇਡੀਅਨਾਂ ਅਤੇ ਆਦੀਵਾਸੀ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਦੀ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਪ੍ਰਤੀ ਨੀਤਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸੰਬੋਧਿਤ ਕਰਨ ਦੇ ਉਦੇਸ਼ ਨਾਲ ਸੰਗੀਤ ਸਰਕਾਰ ਦੇ ਨਵੇਂ ਕਾਨੂੰਨ ਤੇ ਚਰਚਾ ਕਰਨ ਲਈ ਇੱਕ ਨਿਊਜ਼ ਕਾਨਫਰੰਸ ਕੀਤੀ ਇਸ ਨਿਊਜ਼ ਕਾਨਫਰੰਸ ਦੌਰਾਨ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਕਿ ਫੈਡਰਲ ਸਰਕਾਰ ਨੇ ਇੱਕ ਬਿੱਲ ਪੇਸ਼ ਕੀਤਾ ਹੈ ਜੋ ਨਸ਼ੀਲੇ ਪਦਾਰਥਾਂ ਦੇ ਅਪਰਾਧਾਂ ਤੇ ਬੰਦੂਕ ਨਾਲ ਸੰਬੰਧਿਤ ਕੁਝ ਅਪਰਾਧਾਂ ਲਈ ਲਾਜ਼ਮੀ ਘਟੋ-ਘਟ ਸਜ਼ਾ ਨੂੰ ਰੱਦ ਕਰੇਗਾ I would like to begin uh, by acknowledging that I'm speaking to you today from the traditional territory of the Algonquin Anishinaabe people. I want to thank my colleague here on the stage with me today, Gary Ananda Sangri, who was just named as my new parliamentary secretary. Uh thank you for being here, uh Gary, as indeed you were here back in February. I also want to take this occasion to thank Arif Arani, uh my former parliamentary secretary with whom I worked closely since my original nomination as a minister. as well as Bardis Chagger uh, who played an important role in moving forward the former bill C22 facts are hard to argue with and when it comes to conservative justice policy the facts speak loudly and clearly it simply did not work the best evidence sadly is in our pr- prison populations indigenous adults represent 5% of the general population but account for 30% of federally incarcerated inmates That's double what it was 20 years ago. And it's even higher in certain provinces. Black inmates represent 7.2% of the federal offender population, but only 3% of the Canadian population. These statistics, this record is shameful. The reason the numbers are so high is due in good part to current sentencing laws which focus on punishment through imprisonment. At the center of this approach is the mandatory minimum policy. This rigid one size fits all approach makes it impossible for judges to take into account mitigating factors and to impose a sentence that fits the crime. And I'm not talking about hardened criminals here. I'm talking about low risk first time or non-violent offenders. Think about your own kids. Perhaps they got into trouble at some point with the law. I bet you would want to give them the benefit of the doubt or a second chance if they messed up. Well, it is a lot harder to get a second chance the way things are now. And that's particularly true if you are a young person who happens to be indigenous or black. 